Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Straight Fire Picks. Best bets for Sunday Night Football Week 5 between the Buffalo Bills and the Kansas City Chiefs on Sunday, October 10th, 2021. My name is Steve and we're going to have three picks here for you today. I think are great value bets for this Sunday Night Football game. As always, just want to thank you all for your continued support on the channel. If you are new to the channel here today, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. really helps us grow the channel. Be sure also to check out our Discord server as well. It's a great way to connect with the community. I'll put a link uh, in the description and also in the comments as well uh, to that. Uh, we also have a live stream coming up on Monday Night Football, October 11th, 2021, starting at 7.45 p.m. Eastern Time. Looking forward to that. Uh, should be a lot of fun. Uh, we've had a lot of fun the last few weeks with that. All right, and getting right into our Comet Capper section from the previous primetime football episode, which was Thursday Night Football. Uh, that was the game between the Rams and the Seahawks. Had some great call-outs. Uh, again, in the chat, we had got to get the bag coming in hot. Now, I put this up in the live stream. If you joined us on the live stream, you put this in the live stream because uh, his initial prop uh, didn't play. He had the Rams plus 6.5, the under 60.5 points as a teaser. Uh, minus 110 odds, cash that uh, fairly easily on that. We had ARNH calling out the under in this game, cash that as well. Fairly low scoring game. Uh, we had KJ calling out the Matthew Stafford over on passing yards and the Russell Wilson under on passing yards, cash both of those. We had Gloria calling out the Rams money line. Gloria K calling the Rams money line. Cash that. And we had Arthur there calling the DK Metcalf touchdown and the Daryl Henderson rush yards over. So great job, guys, on that. Um, a quick thing I wanted to say about that. So we are going to adjust how we work that. Um, if you want your pick to be included in the comment cappers, make sure you put a asterisk or a star next to it so I know what your official pick is. Uh, so we won't have multiple picks for that because otherwise it just gets too confusing and I got to track too many different things. So make sure you put like a star or an asterisk, asterisk next to your official pick and that will be included in the video if you want it included. That's completely up to you. As far as our stream results, we went one and two uh, for the night. We cashed the Rams minus two and a half spread. Uh, but we had the Russell Wilson over in rushing yards and you guys saw what happened with him. He's out for eight weeks now. I feel like I'm cursing these players. <laughs> uh, you know, Wilson uh, got injured there in the second half, so that really took care of that bet. Uh, any chance of getting that? Uh, the previous week, just a quick note, uh, I had DJ Shark anytime touchdown, Jags Bengals, and uh, DJ Shark broke his ankle in the first couple minutes. So I don't know. Maybe I'm. Uh, I don't know. It feels like a lot of these player props end up being injured, but what can you do? Uh, we had Von Jefferson over 43 and a half uh, receiving yards. Wasn't able to catch that. Got off to a good start. I uh, had a catch there on the first possession for 16. I thought things were looking great and just couldn't get it. So what can you do? We move on from that though. We went one and two. We're going to get that three and oh this episode, guys. So getting right into our picks at number one, we have a little bit of a homer pick. Now you guys know I'm a Bills fan. I have it right in the background. We have the cornhole board in the background. Y'all know who I am. I'm hiding nothing. I make no apologies. With that being said, we are taking the Buffalo Bills plus three spread here versus the Chiefs at minus 114 odds. Listen, I said this early on in the season that, you know, I am not a homer guy, meaning I'm very careful about doing this kind of stuff because I, I you know, I never want to bring emotions into betting. I always want to be very professional about it. Uh, that being said, though, the Bills are a great football team, and I said this early on, that, hey, if there's an opportunity to bet on them, we're going to take it because they're one of the most profitable teams in football on the spread. That's just a fact. They were last year. They are so far this year. You can't go wrong right now with the Buffalo Bills. So, you know, Bills rolling in here with the, one of the best uh, defenses in the league. They're fourth against the pass. They're first against the run. They've pitched two shutouts already, uh, winning those games 75 to nothing combined versus the Texans and the Dolphins. And, and you know, I, I realize the Texans and the Dolphins aren't that great. But, hey, you still got to go out and take care of business, right? They're still NFL teams. You still got to do your thing. And they looked absolutely dominant doing it. And I love that. They they have swag with it, right? They're pumped up. They they take pride in what they do. They take pride in pitching a shutout, too. They really do. They It means, you know, what they're doing on the defensive side is just very impressive right now under Leslie Frazier. And on the other side here for the Chiefs, let's uh let's call out the elephant in the room, right? Their defense is atrocious. They're 26 versus the pass. They're 29th versus the run. 
They're giving up 5.4 yards per carry on the ground. So you tell me, uh, are they all of a sudden going to strike magic here and I get it together against the Buffalo Bills and Josh Allen? No, they're not. That's ridiculous. Mahomes, you know, on the other side also, you know, for the offense of the Chiefs, Mahomes has stolen interceptions in his last three. It's very uncharacteristic of him. I mean, he's thrown five and six interceptions for the season um, in his previous two seasons. He's already thrown four this year. So there is something going on here with the Chiefs. They don't look they don't look that great. Uh, already, you know, I have a loss to the uh, depleted Ravens team. I watched that game. Ravens had, I don't even know who they were throwing out there on defense. I really don't. And, and the Chiefs still found a way to lose that game, which was incredible. You know, no running backs for the Ravens. They're bringing guys in off the street that are just running all over the Chiefs. And it's like, uh, <laughs> I don't really know what to say about that. Now, last year, the biggest problem the Bills had versus the Chiefs was they gave up tons of rushing yards. Uh, 359 rushing yards in two games versus the Chiefs. Namely, that one uh, during the regular season when they gave up 245 on the ground. Edwards Lair absolutely had his way. Uh, it was not pretty. Uh, but the Bills have shored that up. They're not going to have that type of game against the Bills this year, for sure. Much better against the run. Um, they're, they're healthier than they were last. they got Star Lutulier back there in the middle, which is a huge addition uh, for that run defense. So, you know... And Bill's coming in here just riding a lot of momentum, guys. Three straight wins of 20-plus points. They're absolutely rolling. Josh Allen's thrown for over 700 yards uh, in his last two weeks with seven total touchdowns. So things are really moving here for Buffalo. And I expect them to play well. You know, Kansas City was their was their kryptonite last year, and I think this year, I think they get them this time. I think, I think it's the Bills' time this time. So take it right there for your number one pick. Buffalo Bills plus three spread versus the Chiefs at minus 114 odds. Okay, and at number two, we are going with Devin Singletary over 30 and a half rushing yards here for the Bills at minus 113 odds. So when I initially started to make this selection, it was at 27 and a half, and it moved up to 30 and a half. So people are jumping on this one. I expect this to go up uh, before kickoff for sure. It probably will end or land close to 40 if I had to take a guess. Uh, so definitely hop on this one as soon as you can. And we already talked about how bad the Chiefs' run defense has been. 5.4 yards per carry. That's tied for worst in the league uh, with the Cardinals. And uh, obviously not good. That's 29th on the season versus the run as well. So teams are not afraid to run the ball against them. As far as for Devin Singletary, he's averaging 5.3 on the ground this year. He's having a very good year so far. Um, his lowest output of the season was 26 rushing yards versus the, uh, versus the Washington football team. Uh, his other three games, 79, 82, and 72. So he's been doing just fine on the ground. This is a very reasonable rushing line for him. Uh, I definitely expect him to cash. I wouldn't be afraid to take Zach Moss either. Uh, his is about 36 and a half. I wouldn't be afraid to jump on that one either. But I like the value on Singletary a little bit better here. Uh, well, like I said, you could take both, and you could feel pretty good, I think, about both. Uh, I definitely could see the uh, Bills getting that running game established. There's no reason not to. Um, so take it right there for your number two pick. Devin Singletary over 30 and a half rushing yards here versus the Chiefs at minus 113 odds. Okay, and finally at number three, we are rolling with Zach Moss. Anytime touchdown score here versus the Chiefs at plus 135 odds. So listen, you know, a lot of the points we just made there about Devin Singletary hold true here for Zach Moss. Zach Moss is having a very solid season here to open up. He's also ran the ball very well. He's eclipsed 60 yards in his last two games. So that's why I said you could feel pretty comfortable taking him. The Bills have been actually running the football, which has been good to see. Uh, like I said, he's got 27 carries his last two games, so I like that. He gets the goal line touches. So when the Bills get in the red zone, expect to see Zach Moss get his touches. And the Chiefs so far have given up five touchdowns to running backs on the season. That is tied for second most. Um, so we like that as well. Uh, you know, staying right on theme there with how bad that rushing defense is for the uh, Chiefs. That's what we want to attack, right? We're going to attack the weaknesses in this game. That's exactly what we're looking for. And we find plenty of value here. Plus odds on a touchdown score. That's what I look for. I don't look for minus odds. Uh, so... You know, so far, Zach Moss has scored in two of his three games. He has three touchdowns on the year. So, again, like I said, we like that a lot. So, take it there for your number three pick. Zach Moss, anytime touchdown here versus the Chiefs at plus 135 odds. 
Okay, and that's going to do it for our official picks for this game. I did have some additional thoughts on this game as well. So you'll notice that I took Bill's props and we took the Bill's spread. So you're like, Steve, you're kind of really just going ham on the homer stuff here. Well, to be honest with you, I did not see value on the other side. So I'm a guy that can objectively look for value, and we did not see it on the side of the Chiefs, to be honest with you. All their lines up for the Chiefs are all up higher than stuff that I want to jump in on. If you guys know me, you guys know I like low-key props. I don't like attacking 90, 95-yard lines as far as receiving, rushing. Those aren't fun. Uh, I can make an exception occasionally for special circumstances, but for against a great defense that has been absolutely phenomenal so far this season, I don't want to take Tyreek Hill over 89.5 receiving yards. I don't want to take Travis Kelsey over 87.5. I don't want to take Tyreek Hill minus 175 anytime touchdown. Not interested in that. Those are not... Those are not value plays to me. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. Patrick Mahomes over 300 yards passing. I No, I, I don't want to do that. No interest. Josh Allen, same thing. I don't want to take his passing yards either. I can see the Bills running the football here a lot, and that's actually what I'm banking on, right? Uh, I think that's the matchup where I see the most hay. I see the most value. You got low rushing props here on the Bills running backs. Bills running backs have had success, and the Chiefs have been terrible against the run. They're not going to all of a sudden get it right in one game. It's not going to happen. I don't see it happening. So I'd be honestly shocked if we don't have a great episode this episode. I'm expecting a lot here. So uh, that was just my thoughts on that. As far as any time touchdown scores, um, where I would recommend looking as well, all the Bills are plus odds. Uh, Dawson Knox has four touchdowns on the air, and he's drawn a great matchup here. Plus 230 odds. That's another one that I love. I talk a lot about tight ends, and they've had a lot of success in primetime football. And I keep talking them up. I talk about tight ends just about every episode. And most of the time, I'm not let down. Now, I can make a more official picks, and I haven't been doing that lately uh, as far as the official picks. But in this recommendation section, I've been talking about tight ends a lot. That's where I would recommend looking at value if you really want another touchdown score. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for our picks and thoughts for this game. If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We're trying to get the 700 subscribers here by the end of the week. We'd love to also hear your guys' suggestions down in the chat. We are a young channel. We're growing. We're blossoming. Uh, we'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on ways that we can improve the channel. We do have a Discord channel now uh, for the community, so uh, be sure to check that out. I'll put the link uh, in the description as well as in the comments, so you can be sure to check that out. Uh, it's a lot, really fun way to connect with the community, and we have some great people here with the community that know what they're talking about. So I would definitely encourage that. And again, we have that live stream coming up, so be sure to check that out. And other than that, guys, that's going to do it for me. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and we will catch you next time. Peace out.